Hello, hello. <sighs> Namaste and peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me here in Online Yoga School Virtual Studio. We are going to get started in our session here today. Items that we may need is a yoga block. So if you have a yoga block, please feel free to grab your block because we're definitely going to be using this today. Right. And maybe we may use our yoga strap. These straps are good as well to allow us to just go a little bit deeper and feel the stretch, okay? So I'm going to start out in the cow face legs here today. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you as we are using our seat to help ground, relax, and soothe the mind and body. Our buttocks is connected to the earth. Tummies are nice and tight. Our spinal cords are elongated, meaning we are not sunken down, having control of that body. With the shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears, this allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum if that feels good for us. As we continue to gaze down or close our eyes, relaxing and silent meditation for natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our head, flowing into a seated salute, palms are together above the head. Interlacing the fingers with the pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakra is open, chin is up. Allowing the arms to slightly flow towards the back, feeling this slight back bend here. We're gonna hold this pose, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating the palms, coming into that seated extended mountain. Leaning the body towards the right, feeling that side bend. Maybe allowing that right hand to come downward towards the earth, going deeper in that bend, if that feels good. Slightly gazing up at the heavens. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale in the center. Breathing both arms above our head. Seated salute. As we lean the body to the opposite side. Feeling that side bend. Maybe lowering that left arm downward towards the earth. Coming deeper into that bend. Slightly gazing up at the heavens. Three breaths. Two. Exhaling back to center, palms above the head. Breathing to our salute. Relaxing our palms down to our prayer. Palms come down their heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Gazing forward, taking a moment to check in. Seeing how we feel right here, right now, without judgment, simply being aware. Two more breaths. Allowing our palms to relax on the earth, just placing our palms at our side body, using our palms to connect to our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us, right here, right now. Simply being aware. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two more breaths. 
Breathe in. Exhale. Spinal twist, right side, twist in the body towards the right. Right arm comes towards the back, fingertips face away from you. Left arm comes over the right side and we're gonna slightly gaze over that right shoulder. Fill in that spinal twist, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. See the twist opposite side, left arm comes to the back, fingertips face away from us. Bringing that right hand to the left side, gazing over that left shoulder, still in that spinal twist. This relaxes and soothes the spine. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center, breathing up to our salute. Palms above the head, chin is up. Exhale the prayer, relaxing the palms at heart center. Shoulders relax down away from the ears. Two breaths. As we flow our body to our hands and our knees, coming into a tabletop pose. Dropping down to our cow, chin is slightly up. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table, holding here for a second. As we breathe, our right leg out towards the back, coming into that sunburn. Both of our palms are flat on the earth. As we pulse that right leg up, we are working our gluteus maximus. Our tummies are tight. We are gaze forward for three more breaths. Two. One. Finding pause. If we're able, extending that left arm forward, we are now in that full sunburn. We're gonna hold this pose. Three breaths. Two. One, breathing our knee to our elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Two breaths. Coming back to our table. Drop into cow. Chin is up. Backs are sunken. Flow into our cat. Exhaling back to table as we breathe that left leg towards the back. Feeling that stretch. Both palms are flat on the earth. As we pulse that left leg up, working at gluteus maximus opposite side. Three breaths, two, one. Finding that pause, breathing that right arm forward, coming into that full sunburn. You're gonna hang out here, three breaths. We are balancing and strengthening here, two breaths. Breathe in, exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird, knee to elbow. Back to bird, knee to elbow. Flowing back to bird, two breaths. Exhale into our table, dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to table as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Pressing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. We're gonna find that pause, breathing our right leg in the air, three-legged dog, right side. Hold this pose here, holding this pose for three breaths. As we breathe our right foot forward, coming into that pigeon pose, right foot comes towards the front, left leg is towards the back. We are in that pigeon pose, feeling that stretch. Our heart chakra is open, making that back nice and elongated. Chin is up, 
feeling this nice deep pigeon, taking this left hand, placing it on the back of our left leg, simply just touching it, seeing how that feels. Slightly gazing over that left shoulder. And if we're able, maybe we can try to breathe that left foot inside that left hand or that left elbow, coming into a pigeon or a mermaid, if that feels good. Our heart chakra is open, our chin is up. Note, we can also use a yoga strap to help get us into this pose. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, releasing that foot, slightly gazing over that right shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, gazing over that left shoulder. Exhaling back to center as we relax down in our sleeping pigeon, allowing our torso to come down towards the earth, crossing our hands in front of us as we relax our forehead or our chin or cheeks on to our hands. Sleep in pigeon, four breaths. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Take a nice subtle breaths here. Two more breaths. Slightly awakening from that sleeping pigeon, using our palms to push our torsos up away from the earth. We're gonna untuck that left toe. We're gonna flow back to our down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedal on our feet, left and right. Finding our pulse, three-legged dog, left side, flowing that left foot in the air, nice and high. Gaze back at that foot. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, breathing that left foot forward, coming into that pigeon. Opposite side, left leg crosses towards the front. Right leg is in the back, nice and long. Using our hands to push our torsos away from that thigh. Heart chakra is open, chin is up. Just hanging out here for a couple breaths, noticing how this pigeon feels in the body, within the hips. <sighs> Taking this left hand, connecting this left hand to the left. Let's start over. Taking this right hand, connecting this right hand to the right thigh, just feeling that stretch, just simply touching it. Slightly gazing over that right shoulder. If all feels well, maybe we can connect that right hand to that right foot, lifting that foot up in the air, coming into our pigeon or our mermaid. And I didn't mention it the first time, but we can also use our strap to help our mind and our bodies get into that pigeon or mermaid by wrapping, hooking this strap onto the foot. And using this strap to bring that foot up. Coming into that pigeon, king pigeon or that mermaid off to the side if the foot tucked in the elbow. Or king pigeon. Couple more breaths. Exhaling out, straightening that right foot, twisting the body forward, slightly gazing over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhale the center, gazing over that right shoulder. Flowing back to center as we relax down in our sleeping pigeon. Torso comes down towards that thigh, crossing those palms, hands in front of us, stacking them on top of each other. As our forehead, cheeks, or chin relaxes on our hands. Still in the body, relax and soothe as our shoulder blades melts forward. Our eyes are down and closed. Four breaths. Mm -hmm. 
as we slowly awaken from that sleeping pigeon, using our hands to push our torsos away from that thigh. Untucking that right foot. As we breathe our bodies up to our down dog, breathing that left foot towards the back, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. As we find pause, shifting our weight forward, coming into a high plank. As we find pause, shifting our weight forward, coming into a high plank. Or low plank if that feels good. Tummies are tight. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling down to a low plank or a chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Exhale down to our spanks pose. We are on our tummies. We are on our forearms. Our shoulders are not shrugged, having them away from the ears. Chin is up. Gaze in the eyes down if that feels good. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. This here is a slight back bend. It's also a relaxing and soothing pose. It regulates our heartbeat. I'm gonna take a couple of subtle breaths here. Feeling the body relaxing and soothing. As we flow into a baby cobra, bringing our palms next to our torso, Slightly pushing our torso away from the earth. This is a slight back bend. Shoulders are relaxed. Baby cobra. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to cobra, straightening those elbows. Our torsos are further away from the earth. Chin is up. Exhale, up dog. Untucking those toes, taking those thighs off the earth. Feeling this in the lumbar back. Heart chakra is open. Chin is up. Two more breaths. Breathe down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Finding pause, walking our feet to our hands, complete forward fold, allowing that torso to relax over the thigh. Allowing that head to relax downward. You'll feel this in your lumbar back. You'll feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings. This regulates the heartbeat. It relaxes and soothes the mind. Complete forward fold, four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling up to half forward, slightly gazing forward. Backs are straight. As we yogi walk our feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance here. Nice and wide legged if that feels good. As we flow down to our rag dial, allowing that head to relax down, connecting the hands to the elbows. Still in this full body stretch, three more breaths. As we rock or sway our bodies from side to side, noticing how that feels behind your legs and your hamstrings. Four more breaths. Finding pause at center, coming to a wide-legged forward fold, connecting our hands to our ankles. Two more breaths. Exhale, breathing that left hand to that right ankle. Crossing this right arm behind our backs, like we do on our thread the needle, as we slightly gaze over our right shoulder. 
Fill in this cross body stretch and spinal twist. Four more breaths. Exhale and back to center, coming into that wide legged, connecting the hands to the ankles, head melts down. Exhaling up to half forward as we connect this right hand to this left ankle. Wrapping this left arm behind our backs like we're doing our thread the needle as we gaze over our left shoulder. Feeling this cross body spiny, feeling this cross body spinal twist opposite side. Four breaths. Exhaling back to center, walking our hands forward, breathing our legs towards the back, down dog. Pillow on our feet, walking our dog. As we find our pause, we're going to breathe that right foot to that right hand, coming into that runner's lunge, hanging out here for a couple breaths. Runner's lunge, hanging out here for a couple breaths. Dropping our left knee down, coming into that low lunge. Pressing our bodies away from our thigh. We're going to flow into a crescent lunge by breathing our arms above our head. Feel in that stretch. Interlacing our fingers together if we choose. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale forward, framing that front foot. Taking that knee off the earth, back in that runner's lunge. Exhaling up to our pyramid, straightening that front leg. Torso relaxes over that thigh. Hmm. Allowing that head to flow down towards the knee. Three more breaths. Exhale back to runner's lunge. Breathing that, breathing that right hand inside the leg. We're coming into that lizard pose or lizard prep. Dropping down that knee if you choose. Bringing our elbows down towards the earth. Or we can keep that knee off the earth here in that lizard. Whatever feels good for you. This is a nice deep stretch. Working those hip flexors here. Three more breaths. Mm -hmm. Exhaling up. <sighs> Coming back to that runner's lunge. Blowing back to that pyramid, straightening that leg. Mm. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our dog, pedal on our feet. Mm. Finding our pause, we're gonna breathe our left foot to our left hand. Dropping down to that right knee, low lunge. Feeling that deep stretch as we flow into that crescent lunge. Pushing our torso away from our thigh. Breathing our arms up in the air. Interlacing our hands together if we choose. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling forward, framing that front foot. Taking that knee off the earth. Bringing that left hand inside of that leg. Flowing into that lizard prep. We can drop down to our knee if we choose. Coming down to our forearms. We are in that lizard. Or we can come off our knees. Our knee. Tucking our chin inward, if that feels good. Gazing down at the earth. Two more breaths. Exhaling out. Coming into that runner's lunge. Exhale into pyramid, straightening that left leg. Allowing that torso to relax over that left thigh. Head melts down towards the knee. 
fill in this stretch. A couple more breaths here. Exhale and forward back to that runner's lunge. Breathe down dog, gazing at the feet. Dropping down to our dolphin, coming on to our forearms, buttocks is nice and high in the air. Gazing back at our feet. Pushing up on our tippy toes if that feels good. Three more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose, whatever feels best for you. Allowing the torso to relax between your thighs. Our third eye chakra connects to the yoga mat. Our third eye chakra is our forehead, of course. Maybe our arms are extended in front of us, coming into an extended child's pose or puppy pose. Mm. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Eyes are closed or gaze down. As we are taking nice, subtle breaths. And we're gonna use this pose to relax and go inward, focusing on self, seeing how we feel within, noticing what's going on within without judgment, always being kind and loving to ourselves. Five natural breaths of silence. Two more breaths. With our palms flat on the earth, we're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose, puppy pose. Filling this spinal wave and the spinal cord. Three more breaths. As we find pause at table, flowing into our cow, exhale to cat, breathing to our table, pushing the body up to our down dog, gazing at our feet, breathing our right foot to our right hand, we are in that runner's lunge. As we exhale up to warrior one, breathing our arms above our heads. or we can be in a high lunge. So warrior one or high lunge. Gazing forward. Chin is up. Exhale into warrior two. One arms to the front, one arms to the back. Exhale, reverse warrior, feel the next stretch. Breathing to side angle. Just allowing that left hand to relax on the waist or behind the back, like we do on the thread the needle. As we flow to our extended side angle, lifting that arm up in the air or over the head. Breathing back to side angle. As we flow to our prayer hands, breathing our palms together. We are in our side angle prayer hands. Two breaths. Twisting the body towards the left. We're going to come into that revolved side angle. Exhale back center. Straightening that leg. Coming into a triangle. We can use the yoga block if that feels good here in our triangle. That way we're not overstretching. Extended triangle, extending that arm up in the air. If we don't have a yoga block, we can have our hands 
on our lower leg or our ankle, whatever feels best for you. Flow into our revolve triangle, twisting our bodies towards our thigh. We can use the yoga block if you choose. Straightening that leg, revolve triangle. Exhale and back forward, coming into that pyramid. Straightening that front leg. Head relaxes over that thigh. Breathe to run this lunge, bending that front knee. Exhale, down dog. Gaze it at the foot. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Finding our pause, we're gonna breathe that left leg to left hand. Run this lunge opposite side. As we flow up to warrior one, lifting that body, arms flows up in the air above our head, warrior one or high lunge. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Exhale to warrior two, feel the movements here. Working in lower parts of our bodies. As we flow to reverse warrior, feeling that stretch. Exhale into side angle with our right arm relaxed on our waist. Flow into our extended side angle, right arms above in the air or flowing over our head. Exhaling back to side angle, hand to waist. As we flow into a prayer, hand side angle, breathing our palms together. Two breaths. Holding this pose, we're gonna come into a revolved, twisting our body towards our leg. Couple breaths. Exhaling back to prayer hand side angle. As we straighten that leg, we're gonna flow into a triangle. Straightening that leg, breathing that right arm up in the air, feeling that stretch. We can also use our yoga block if we choose, that way we're not going too deep and a stretch. We're gonna hold this for three more breaths. Exhaling out, flowing into a revolved triangle, simply just twisting that leg, twisting that body towards the leg, left arm comes up in the air, revolved triangle. Ensuring that front leg is still straight, Using the yoga block if that feels good. Now taking a note that the yoga block can be flat on the earth the way mine is, or it could be up in the air to create more length. So whatever feels good for you here. Exhaling back out, flowing into a pyramid, allowing that torso to relax over that thigh. Breathing to a runner's lunge, bending that front knee. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Coming down to our dolphin, coming on to our forearms. Slowing up and down on our tippy toes if that feels good. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. So taking nice, subtle breaths, allowing the shoulder blades to melt forward. Eyes are closed or gaze down with our third eye chakra connected to the earth. We're going to hang out here, five breaths.
with our arms extended in front of us, palms are flat on the earth, we're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose or puppy pose. Feeling the rotations here in your spinal cord. <sighs> Feeling the movement here. Finding our pause at center. Coming to table. Dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Throwing back to our table, crossing our feet at our ankle. Coming into a seated pose, just for a second, we're gonna flow on to our back. Coming into a reclined position. Mm. Hugging our knees into our chest. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. As we allow our knees to fall towards the left, recline spinal twist. Feeling that spinal cord soothe here. Taking that right hand, breathing it out towards the side as we gaze over that right shoulder. Or gaze up at the heavens, whatever feels best for you. Allowing that spine to decompress. Allowing the mind to soothe and relax. Maybe closing our eyes or gazing them down low. Taking nice, subtle breaths here. As we relax in silent meditation, the six breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. Allow the knees to flow towards the right. Recline spinal twist, opposite side. Fill the next spinal twist. Left arm goes out to the side like a lowercase t. Gazing over that left shoulder. Or gazing up at the heavens. Allowing the shoulder blades to melt back into the yoga mat. Feeling that body relax. And simply just flow into the yoga mat. Feeling the body become one with the earth. Feeling the mind relax. Allowing the eyes to gaze down low or closing the eyes. Four more breaths. Let's make it five more breaths. Exhale and back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. As we breathe our legs up in the air, coming on to legs on the wall or invisible wall in our case. Pointing our toes upwards towards the heavens, feeling that plantar flex. I also like to call this ballerina's foot, creating that arch at the bottom of the feet. Reaching our hands down, breathing our legs towards our torso, feeling this leg to body stretch. Buttocks come slightly off the earth. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, legs back up, legs on the wall. As we allow our legs to flow towards the side, wide-legged reclined split. 
the wide legged recline stretch. Feeling that stretch here, you can feel this in the inner thighs as our spinal cord relax onto the yoga mat. Ensuring that we're not overstretching. Two more breaths. Breathing our legs back in, hugging our knees into our chest, allowing our feet to touch the earth, knees are still in the air. Feet to the earth, knees to the air. We're gonna work on a pelvic tilt here. Placing our palms next to our buttocks. Palms are flat on the earth next to our buttocks. We're gonna use our palms and our feet to tilt our pelvic bones forward, filling that bridge pose. So lifting that pelvic, lifting the hips up in the air, feeling that. You'll feel this in your gluteus maximus. You'll notice that buttocks is getting nice and tight. As we walk our hands together underneath, as we bring our hands together underneath our buttocks, walking our shoulder blades, Towards our spine, our torso comes higher in the air. We, is, we are now in a nice high pelvic tilt. This is a bridge pose. So we can pulse that body up and down here in our bridge, or we can stay still. Whatever we choose, we are working our gluteus maximus. We are tilting that pelvic bone forward. This is good for people who sit in an office chair a lot. This pelvic tilt, tilting that pelvic bone forward. We're also working and lifting that gluteus maximus. Four more breaths. Two. One, untucking the hands, the shoulders, breathing the knees into the chest, gazing the eyes down or closing the eyes. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Breathing our legs parallel side by side, coming into that Shavasana. The sides of our feet are connecting. As we allow our feet to fall to the side like a V, completely relaxing our legs. Our mind and bodies are relaxing and cooling down. Our mind and our bodies are thanking ourselves for practicing here today. May we notice how we felt during our practice. And may we be aware of how we felt during our practice. Simply take a notice of mind, body, experience, the feelings and thoughts that may have arisen. And being aware without judgment, simply noticing, keeping in mind throughout our days. When we feel feelings and have thoughts, may we always be mindful of what's going on. And may we never judge ourselves. Always being kind and loving to oneself. As we close our eyes or gaze down, relaxing here in silent meditation for seven Natural breaths. Two more breaths. Keep 
keeping our eyes closed if that feels good. We're going to roll onto our side, coming into a fetal pose. We're going to hang out here for four more breaths. Slowly wiggle on our toes, rotating our ankles, moving our buttocks at our hips. As we use this top hand to push our bodies up, coming into a seated pose. Any seated pose of choice, I'm gonna come into a cow face legs. May you find any seat that feels good for you. As our root chakra is connected to the earth. which is our buttocks or our sacral chakra. Root chakra, sacral chakra, solar plexus. So we got the root, the sacral, the solar plexus. We got the heart chakra, that throat chakra, that third eye chakra, and that crown chakra. May we align with our major chakras here. Feeling nice and tall in our seated pose. Connecting at the root with our crown on our head. Chin is up. Heart chakra is open. Eyes and gaze down or closed. With our palms above our head if that feels good for us. Creating that crown. Taking nice, subtle breaths. Relaxing our palms at heart center now. Relaxing those shoulders down away from the ears. Relaxing those eyes downward or closing the eyes. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today for in a busy busy world it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self and i would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today for it truly truly is a blessing the light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.